last night I was, um, um, I, I move at such a rapid rate and we're doing so many colossal things that, and some of them have never been done before. Um, and I have so many projects on the fire that I, sometimes I, I, I just get a little overwhelmed and I have to take a few days and just try to put it all out on paper. And so um, this is a portion of what I wrote to myself last night as I tried to figure out. I wrote first of all the things that we, <laughs> that I, I've set as a goal for myself and the company. And they're, they're pretty large and astounding. And then I thought, how did we get here? How did, where did I go wrong? Where, where, where have I, what have I missed? What is our purpose? What are we that we're supposed to really be doing? What should I focus on? And so I started here at CNN. And the original goal when I started at CNN was redesign the media. And also warn, because I was warning that Islamic extremism was coming. And uh, also an economic collapse was coming. But then we launched the insider extreme because we left and we knew we were not going to be able to redesign the media at Fox. So we relaunched the, we launched the insider extreme because this was our main goal. But at Fox, I wrote Common Sense right when I walked in the door. And I felt the show was a warning. We had to, that's why we went to Fox, because the times called for it. And we exposed the progressives. And then we said we had to give hope, warn, and uncover. Then in the 912 Project, and we had the f meeting with all of the faiths, and we marched on Washington, Van Jones. And then we did the Restoring Honor thing, where we, we did that. I wrote last night on my piece of paper, I think I was done here. That's when I really thought my career was over at this point. But we also launched the blaze to warn and to redesign the media. So we had two of these pieces now in place. It was right after Restoring Honor that I had the idea of the Dream Labs. That's three years ago. To inspire. September is right after Restoring Honor is when I knew we were on the wrong course and this was my course, but I couldn't make it work. I didn't even know what it meant. I knew what I had to do, but I didn't understand how to do it yet. I'm very close to understanding how to do it because I'm beginning to really understand what the problem is. This little schematic is the problem. I started last night with the culture. The culture, the news media, the art, the places that you go to and take your kids to, the events, even the malls, the entertainment, the movies, TV, the blogosphere, the culture is sick. And it's, it goes against everything. And I thought, which is affecting the culture? Is it education or is the culture affecting education or education affecting the culture? I think it's education. And education is so twisted. It's taking our worldview of our kids, which affects our military and our economic policies, our faith in destroying it, family is destroying it. I'm not sure if the labor unions fit in there. I put it on there. Are there a bigger bubble or a separate bubble? Banking is affected by this. Political policies affected by this. All of this, all of it in education, which affects our industry. This is the problem with our society right here. So how do we fix it? In the coming days and weeks to come, we're going to unpack the direction and focus on the things that we can actually affect. And it's baby steps. But remember, the progressive has always worked a hundred years to get to, to get to where they are. We may never see, I may never see most of these things done in my lifetime, but I'll be able to sleep securely knowing that I did something, that I started it. I refuse to be indifferent, and that's what you are. We're building a network. And our next step next year, early, early next year, is to expand our news division. We're going to create new programming that doesn't just preach to the choir. And I'm going to show you real, tangible pieces of that in the next couple of weeks. And we're looking for the things that we can connect on. A brighter future than the one we have now. A better family than the one we have now. A world that makes sense because you can trust it. We're going to focus on the things that you can do directly and, and directly impact. Not Washington, not the GOP, but in your home and in your community and in your state. That's why Agenda 21 is so important. It's one of those things. We'll prepare you to lead. We'll forge a new path, not harp on the current darkness. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to talk about what's going on in the news, just a different way of making sense of it all. Everything we know is used up, old, outdated, wrong, solid is liquid, upside down is, uh, 
is right side up, inside is inside out. The standard bearers we've known to come and come to trust have all but been destroyed. I didn't know how to do it. But we are about to. And it changes everything. Our goal is to bring back into fashion those things that created America. Those things were people in which were instilled the principles that allowed men to be free for the first time in history. I know exactly where we're going. I don't know exactly how to get there yet. But we will.